Welcome to RP app. In this session, we'll discuss about how to handle speech scrolling using robot framework. So if you can see this website is having all these countries name with their population details. So if I want to capture any specific country detail, then definitely I need to perform the scrolling because when we are handling a scrolling activity, uh, of browser there's a new keyword defined in robot framework so we'll see here how we can handle this in robot framework if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates <music> jump to right where we can do the practicals so here i'm going to create one test case it's a name page scrolling now our test case is created again we have to use keyword open browser for opening the url Here, I will provide the URL detail. I want to open this URL into Chrome. So I am giving here as a Chrome. Next thing, we need to perform the scrolling by using execute JavaScript keyword. So execute JavaScript the keyboard and here we will need to define the exact keyword for this window dot scroll to and in between the, this is a function in between that we have to provide the axis so zero is for x horizontal scrolling and this 1200 I am giving here as a for vertical scrolling so zero will scroll it on this page horizontally which is zero so once the page will be open it's not required to perform scrolling so because of that horizontal scrolling is not here we need to jump to vertical scrolling like this so if we have any specific website which is having horizontal scrolling then definitely we need to keep y-axis as a zero and x-axis is a with some value so let's run this and see how our output will looks so i am giving here as a end close browser we don't need any spaces here now let's run this Did not select it here. Save and then run. So it will launch the browser, go to the U, uh, URL and perform the scrolling and reach to tell 12, 1200 position and it will close the browser. So you can see its scrolling is done till 1200. Now, if we want to jump into some point where we want to provide some related details like if we want to jump directly to any of the elements or any of the countries named directly so let's say if i want to jump to zambia so how we'll handle it so for handling this we have to let's comment it out this one here we have to enter scroll element into view now here we have to provide the locator so for providing the locator let me inspect the element so let me jump to laos 
So I will copy the X path of this. Now I will paste this X path into my code. Now let's run this. This time it will directly jump to the lows that is 103 position. We're not able to see it. Let me add some sleep time so that sleep of three seconds. Perfect. Now you can see Laos because of these cookies we are not able to see that uh, Laos but let's navigate it to the country name till Laos. Now if we want to directly jump into the end of the page we do have one more app keyword for this. So let me comment this one and insert one row here. So if we want to directly jump into any specific keyword, sorry, a specific at the end of the piece, then we have to use execute JavaScript and then window dot scroll to inside that first we need to provide zero, then document dot body dot scroll height so this is the functions which we are using here and then add it sleep for three seconds so that we can see the response let me run this as well Now it opens the browser and navigate it to the end of the page and wait it for the second and close the browser. Now after moving to the end of the page if we want to jump to up at the top of the page then again we need to write some keyword. Execute JavaScript. then let me copy this complete text here we have to just add minus sign and let me add some sleep time here as well sleep of three seconds so that we are able to see screen Now it will open the browser, jump to the URL and scrolling will move to the end, wait for the, you can see, move to the end, wait for 3 seconds, then again it jumps to the top and again wait for 3 seconds and then close the browser. So this is how we are handling scrolling in robot framework. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed the session, consider sharing within your circle. And don't forget to provide your feedback about this tutorial. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.